the technical details quickly explained. Um, here the process starts in here. It's always a good look to have a look in there, John. That gives most people a good laugh. <laughs> it's uh, the old flooded, uh, the old fashioned uh, unloaded only, but we've changed that to uh, electricity only and green power only, I should say. So, um, but then it comes in here. Um, through there, if you want to come stand on this side, that might be a little bit easier. Yep. Um, it, the wire from the outside comes in here. This is part of the battery management system. Yep. Um, that is the charger. So the, the electricity comes in the charger first, then goes via the battery management system into the batteries um, underneath. These are the battery management systems. Yeah. So that is the negative. Yeah. You know, the red is the positive. The, the the blank is the negative. Goes through the whole system. Same thing. There's two rows in there. Two rows of eleven. Um, four and four, and um, they also needed to be bolted down. That has so that there is actually a G-force up because in case the car rolls, the battery still have to remain in the box. So yes. It's not just a box. You also have to think of something else to keep it down. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Great. Great. The main turn on switch, the big black box over there, the old-fashioned, you know, yep. can't go wrong switch, <laughs> um, goes through there underneath the car as well up to the front and then you get the positive and the negative um, up the front. Before we go there, the little box there is a DC to DC converter and what right. that does is actually taking electricity from the main pack and putting it in a little battery at the front and we'll go there as well. Um, here is the little battery at the front. This one runs the the lights, the window wipers, the all the other little bits, piece the heater. Yep. Um, that needs to be separated by law in case something goes wrong. You still need to run your alarm lights and yes. you know what you know what. Um, well, here we have uh, inside is obviously the eight-inch motor. Uh, well, it's not obviously an eight-inch motor, but it's the motor um, connected via a template to the original gearbox where we have taken the clutch out. Yes. Um, and the other things that I wanted to explain, this is the controller. Yep. It's actually a not the permanent controller, and that's why it's a high-tech device of holding it together. Um, that controller um, takes the electricity from the back yep. and regulates how much energy will actually go into the motor, so deciding on how fast you can drive. You can pump that up and you can go much faster. Um, we've got it set at about um, 350 amps um, at any one time, so that means that um, driving normally I can probably have a top speed of about 130. Wow! Um, which is more than enough yeah, for nice. me. Um, plenty to get arrested and get 100. Well, that's exactly right. Yeah. Um, I, I shouldn't actually be saying this in public, but <laughs> I did go 130 on a uh, on a German autobahn. That was. <laughs> um, we we transported to Europe very quickly to do that test, and um, that was all fine. And it was not even downhill, so that was very good. Um, now here we have, um, it's a vacuum system, it's an ordinary pressure pump yeah. that we've diverted, but we bought a official vacuum pump that is not as noisy as this one. And um, then the, uh, yeah, that, um, that didn't come because of the financial crisis that ah. sort of collapsed, unfortunately. Ah. Um, and so that is the... Um, the vacuum reservoir that the pump doesn't need to run all the time. Got gotcha. you. Um, yeah. 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 So and then the only thing left to explain here really is that this is the throttle pot. So if you um, push that, that will actually go to. My, I'll just turn the ignition on and then yeah, you can. So we can hear how noisy. It is. Well, how lack of noise it is really. And I need to. I obviously need to make sure it's out of gear because otherwise, yeah, otherwise we're still we're here. still in problems. Um, yeah. So. If, if you move this, you can come closer and then you can see the motor in here so will start. See that? Wow. So this is crawling speed and then this is the noise that you would probably have when you're driving sort of 60, 70 kilometers an hour. Wow. Yeah? This is great. It's totally... No noise. 